Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at the local impacts of deforestation. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. In our last video, we focused on the global impacts of deforestation. However, there are also many local impacts that we need to think about. One of these includes climate change on a local scale. The water cycle is disrupted by deforestation as a loss of trees means less evapotranspiration. This means that less moisture is returned to the atmosphere, meaning that fewer clouds are formed, which makes the local climate drier. Recycling water acts as a cooling system, so without this the climate gets warmer. And we know that a drier, warmer climate is bad for local people and agriculture. Deforestation also has an impact on soil erosion and fertility. Chopping down trees leaves a thin topsoil layer exposed, which is quickly removed by heavy rainfall, which we know is a big issue in the rainforest. Without the topsoil layer, it is very hard for any vegetation to grow. Soil erosion also leads to the silting up of river courses. Now this has an impact on marine ecosystems and it increases the risk of flooding. And even if the soil is protected, it quickly loses the fertility it had when it was covered by trees. Even more nutrients are removed when land is used for grazing or for crop plantations. So farmers have to abandon the patch of land they have been working on to move to pastures new, which leads to further forest clearance and soil degradation. Another local impact is river pollution. Gold mining not only causes deforestation as trees are cleared to make way for mineral exploitation, but it also leads to polluted waterways as mercury is often used to separate gold. This then seeps into the ground. This leaky mercury poisons fish as well as, as, well as inhabitants of nearby settlements, particularly through contaminated drinking water supplies. Rivers are also being polluted by silt from soil erosion, as we described a moment ago. Our last local impact is the one upon indigenous tribes. Many people benefit from deforestation for economic reasons. However, many do not because of the social and the environmental impacts of forest loss and indigenous tribes are affected more negatively than any other group as deforestation threatens their homes. It also threatens their food supply and their traditional way of life. In the Amazon rainforest, indigenous tribes have declined in number from 330 to 240 tribes. This is because logging, the construction of roads, the creation of ranches, plantations and reservoirs and the openings of mines have also have all forced them off their land. Many displaced indigenous people have ended up in towns and cities where life is difficult to adjust to as a way of life and the environment is so different than what they used to. As a result many tribes people have ended up with drug and alcohol addiction issues. We also need to consider that indigenous people have incredible knowledge about the medicinal value of many rainforest plants. The loss of tribes means that this valuable knowledge is also lost. Today, there are still around 1 million people living in the Amazon rainforest who make their living from subsistence farming or hunting and gathering, or from harvesting nuts and rubber. They are less easy to persuade to move out these days as they know they've got the right to remain in the forest Therefore, they often end up in conflict with developers. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the local impacts of deforestation. Thank you for watching.